So we were talking about localized re recurrences in renal cell carcinoma, or basically tumors that recur in the renal fossa after a radical nephrectomy. It's an incredibly rare entity. The incidence is somewhere between 0.8 and 3.6% of all patients who undergo radical nephrectomy for renal cell carcinoma. This entity is generally detected on surveillance imaging. They're usually asymptomatic, and, and they often are a very complex problem because it's a these recurrences are not just simple, well-circumscribed lesions, but rather infiltrative masses that frequently involve surrounding organs. I was tasked with discussing specifically how these are managed, and at this point, we have no level one data based on the rarity of the entity, but the retrospective series that we have really point to using surgery as a cornerstone to attempt to sterilize the retroperitoneum. These surgical procedures in general are fairly complicated. They require multidisciplinary effort and, and a real commitment to attempt to achieve negative margins, although positive margins are actually fairly common in patients who have undergone surgery for localized renal masses. And then in addition to surgical management, there's a great deal of interest in sort of variable utilization of, of adjunctive therapies, things like intraoperative radiation therapy, external beam radiation therapy, certainly systemic therapy especially because half of these recurrences co-present with systemic metastatic disease. At this point, I think there's, there's really no clear algorithm for the best way to approach these patients. However, what we talked about today is that it looks like cancer-specific survival can be optimized by aggressively treated and carefully selected patients. And those patients who are not surgical candidates, percutaneous ablation and radiation therapy may be helpful in uh, concert with systemic therapies. And then we know in terms of prognosticating how these patients will do in the long run, risk factors like whether or not positive surgical margins are left behind, the size of the tumors, the time to recurrence of the presentation of the local recurrence all impact outcomes. Local recurrences are something that we hope to diagnose quickly and then offer maximally aggressive therapy in patients who are, or who are certainly candidates for that kind of treatment.